What's going on guys? Frank Rich from MattStackMuscle.com. So you're tired, you're, you're frustrated, you're not making gains, yet you feel like you're following everything to a T. You have a program, you have a coach, you have somebody providing you with exactly what you need to do. You're following it step by step. Your nutrition is on point. You're prepping your meals. You're making sure that macros are accounted for and you're not going outside of what you're supposed to be doing. Yet you still can't build muscle. What's the problem? So what I want to reveal to you in this video is the number one limiting factor for why you're not building muscle or why you can't make progress. Outside of doing everything absolutely perfect, if this one variable is not accounted for and perfected, you will never build your greatest physique. You'll never reach your fullest potential. You'll always hit a plateau. You'll always be subpar to what you're fully capable of doing. So here it is, guys. Stability. Stability is the number one limiting factor for everybody when it comes to building muscle. And here's what I mean. Let's have, we have to remember that a muscle is connected to two joints. Its sole purpose is to bring two points closer together. And when we talk about stability, we're talking about stability at one end of that muscle. See, when we're doing a movement, whether we're doing a bicep curl, we're doing a dumbbell press, we're doing some type of pull down or some type of row, one joint has to be moving. That's going to be the, that's going to be the point of the muscle that's coming closer to the origin in, in, in most points. So stability is what we're talking about, is stability at the other end of that muscle. And I think the greatest way to compare it or, or, or the greatest way to explain it is let's, let's imagine we have a rope or we have a, 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 a piece of chain link fence. If we want to create maximum tension from that, we're also going to pull it from one end. I'm going to pull it with all of my force. I'm going to pull it with everything that I have. Now, if the other side of that rope is unstable, if it's moving, if it's not tied to something that's absolutely secured, I'll never be able to pull that rope as tight as I possibly can. So in order for me to, to get full tension in that rope, to get it as tight as I possibly can, my best option is to tie it to an unmovable object, something that is completely fixed and will allow me to completely pull as much tension through it as possible. So that's how we need to think about our exercise. We need to think about the stability within our joints is we want one end of that muscle absolutely secured, locked down, and not moving. And then the other joint is going to be the one that's going to come closer to that movement. We're, we're creating a contraction. We're trying to bring two points closer together. So stability, guys. If you lack stability, if you lack the ability to create stabilization in your body and in your muscles, you will never reach your fullest potential. So there's a few things that you can do to ensure that you're properly setting you, your, yourself up to maximize stability and create the most stable environment to build muscle. So here they are. Number one is activations, guys. You, you want to activate the muscles that you're training. You want to activate the muscles that are in and around the joints that you're going to be using for that. So spend six, eight, maybe 10 minutes before every single workout, making sure that, that everything is firing properly. Create activations within the muscles, like I said, that you're going to be training, but really make sure that everything is in and around that joint is activated as well. Second thing is always focus on creating tension in the working muscle first. Don't think about doing movements just for the sheer, for sheer sake of moving weight. Think about creating tension within that muscle that you're trying to do. Third thing is stay within your active range of motion. Here's what I mean when I talk about active range of motion. Obviously, we can force ourselves to always go beyond what we're capable of doing, but the active range is where is tension maintained within the muscle. So if you're doing a bench press and you can only get two inches above your chest without having to force it, force something to move that's not supposed to be moving, then that's your active range of motion. Um, same thing with a squat. If you can't get at to the crats, if you can't get your butt all the way down to your ankles, you got to stop a little bit short to maintain tension. That's your active range of motion. So if you want to maintain stability in the muscles that are working and make sure that you're maximizing your gains, stay within your active range of motion. And the fourth thing, and this is going to probably be where we're all going to start, is use artificial stabilization to help you create the environment that you need. So. There's no rule out there that free weights have to be the mass builder of, of, of all sakes. So 
especially towards, towards the end of the workout, once you've exhausted yourself, start using machines. Use things that are in a fixed environment. This is, this is allowing you to not have to use your own stabilization and your own muscles to maintain the stabilization because the machine is there to do that for you. So in, 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 um, in back rows, use something that's got a chest support. If you struggle with staying stabilized and staying secure in a cable fly, use a seated cable fly machine. Use something that's, that's got a bench. For biceps, if, if you're struggling by getting an elevation every time you go to do a bicep curl, lock, lock the back of your arm down. Use a preacher curl, use a bench, something that you can forcefully drive into and create that artificial stabilization. So that's it guys. If you're wondering why you're not building muscle, if you're wondering what's the number one factor that's preventing you from building your greatest physique and reaching your true genetic potential, it's stabilization guys. So make sure that you're working and maintaining a stabilized environment. That's the key to muscle growth. Always think about that reference with the rope. You wanna have one end of the rope, one end of the muscle locked down, secured, and not moving. So that's it, guys. Really, really appreciate you tuning in. Hope you found value in this video. I hope it created a little bit of insight and maybe why you're not building the physique that you're ultimately chasing after and reaching your fullest potential. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn the post notifications on so you're notified every time a new video is released. And if you're looking for some workouts to take your physique and take your training to the next level, what we are doing is we are giving away one free week of our best-selling program, Masthetic Muscle. So hit that first link in the description box right there, www.masstheticmuscle.com forward slash free week. All you gotta do is enter your email address, send the workouts over to you guys right away. But that guys let me know what you thought are you creating a stabilized environment are you reaching your full potential are you building your greatest physique and living your greatest life thank you so much for tuning in today and i'll talk to you soon